Boyle Heights artist Robert Vargas started working on a mural of Fernando Valenzuela the day the Dodger great died. Tonight, Robert, he is still working on that masterpiece, and he joins us now live. He stopped for a moment because you're not quite done. Good to see you, Robert. Happy heavenly birthday to Mr. Valenzuela upstairs in blue heaven. Absolutely. Yes. So tell us about the progress because you are planning to finish this weekend, right? Yes, the unveiling date is uh, this Sunday, November 3rd at noon. So I'm racing around the clock, uh, working 24 hours, actually the next 48 hours straight to get this done. You were already planning to do this before the, the news of his serious uh, illness. Um, what has the reaction been from the community now the fact that you're doing this right days after he passed? Well, I can't imagine a mural like this living anywhere else but right here in the heart of Los Angeles, Boyle, Hi Boyle Heights. And um, as you can hear, the community is all around me and that's what's powered me through, uh, supporting me 100% when people ask me if it's going to get done. No problem because everybody here is about, is, is a part of it. So they're informing the process and they're with me literally all night long. Your work is so stunning to see. I mean, we're seeing the finished one panel because as far as I understand, Robert, it's three panels. So you finished the one, now you're in the middle. So this is sort of a progression of Fernando's famous yes. pitch. Iconic pitch, exactly, exactly. So he's in motion. No AR, co uh, AR component to this one, but I believe that the static image of him moving is, uh, is good enough. There was an augmented reality uh, part of yeah. the Shohei mural that you did where if you looked at it with your phone, right, with yeah. the right app, it would basically come to life. That's what you're referring to. Uh, people can see that in, in a little Tokyo. Yes. H have you heard from Fernando's... Well, you know, these two murals face each other. Mm. Uh, have you heard from Fernando's family at all? Not personally, but I do know that they are aware of the mural. Uh, we are expecting a very, very big turnout. I know Jaime Harin is going to be here, a broadcaster, longtime broadcaster for the Dodgers, and uh, you know other notable figures like Edward James Olmos, and of course uh, CD14 with uh, Council Member Kevin DeLeon, and many others. Yeah, I mean, uh, Alex and I were out at Dodger Stadium today, and uh, uh, Edward James Olmos, uh, James. I'm Edward getting it mixed up. Edward James Thank Olmos. you. Edward James Olmos. He's saying happy birthday to uh, Fernanda Valenzuela. And we also say saw Jaime Harin. Uh, I know that we have our photographer with you, Frank Aguilera, out there with you. Can he pan up to kind of show us what you've finished so far so we can see yes. the one, two uh, panels that are done right now? And you can sort of paint a picture and describe what we're looking at? Sure. So the panel to the right has him, as Vince Scully would say, looking up to the heavens as he's about to throw that pitch. And then we have him uh, just winding up with that, uh, with that throw. And then the follow through would be the, uh, the third panel on the left. Very nice. And, and, and I don't know, have you got to see much of the celebration today? If so, what did it mean to you? Well, I did get to go to Dodger Stadium really early this morning before everything got started, and uh, it just had a magical kind of uh, atmosphere. Uh, it's, it's incredible to see the city come together and celebrate not only, uh, not only the Dodgers, but also Fernando Valenzuela and what he's meant to this community. Um, I'm looking forward to many, many more championships here. I think we've got a winning combination, of course, with Shohei and uh, Freeman, Betts, the whole team. And uh, I think there's going to be another mural coming up pretty soon at Dodger Stadium. Oh. Uh, th that's what uh, what we've been talking about. So during the off season, we have uh, we have something else in store. And you're not going to tell us which Dodger, or are you? <laughs> um, one that's on the current team. Okay, <laughs> How about that? that narrows it down. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But is, I think is that done? I mean, I that's a done deal. That's be happening. A really cool it's pretty much good. I mean, we're, we're, uh, we had a conversation about it after my first pitch a little over a month ago. Um, and uh, we were going to talk again during the offseason while, uh, while things get, uh, get constructed for the, uh, for the new year. Is that player from Japan? 
<laughs> ding, 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 ding. That's part. That's part of it. Oh, oh sure. no, no, but no, I would, okay. You know what I would really love? <laughs> uh, I would really love to do something where I do a, uh, a kind of a. Uh, Mount Rushmore of greats oh. and people who've also kind of uh, broke the the barrier for, or glass ceiling for other uh, ethnicities. The Dodgers really has a Jackie great uh, track record for that. Yeah. And uh, of course, a Shohei mural is uh, is mandatory there at the stadium as kind of a sister mural to the one that I painted in Little Tokyo. Wow. Yeah. Of course, the Dodgers have Jackie Robinson and yeah. Sandy Koufax and exactly. so many the list goes on people and on. that have been yeah. Fernando. Exactly. Yeah. You, you could like just paint. For the Dodgers. Paint this with me. Yeah. You, you yeah. could just paint for the Dodgers <laughs> and you'd be set for the rest of your life. Uh, it, it's such, it's such you know a pleasure. I'm, pa I'm painting for the people. That's yeah. right. You are. You are. And we're so uh, glad that you joined us tonight. Good luck. Can't wait to see the finished product noon, the unveiling yeah. this Sunday. We got some news there. Yeah. Uh, we like that. All right. Thanks so much, Robert Vargas. Good luck this weekend. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Go Dodgers.